Olivia Munn today. So yeah, this is my best attempt at trying to look like her. You know, I've got the hair going on, I've got the contact lenses going on. So the picture that I'm trying to recreate is this one here by Patrick Ta and it is honestly so pretty. I love the way he does makeup on a lot of celebrities. It's very like effortless, seamless, and it just looks so beautiful and fresh. So yeah, keep on watching to see how I created it. First off, I'm just moisturizing my lips and I'm gonna start with my base first. So usually I start with my eyes, but since this look is like, the eyes aren't really intense or like they're quite natural, I feel like, yeah, starting with the base is fine. So I used the Embrelease moisturizer and I also use the Tarte Maracuja oil to make sure that my face is really hydrated. Going to just really focus on keeping the skin as kind of healthy and fresh looking as possible. So for primer, I'm using the Too Faced face hangover primer and I'm not gonna put this in my t-zone just because my t-zone already naturally gets oily I'm gonna put this around my cheeks and mouth area where I get the most dry and this will kind of hydrate my skin okay in her photo you can actually see that you know her freckles are coming through so she doesn't really have like an intense full coverage foundation it seems quite sheer i'm going to be using the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation and i'm going to be mixing two shades so i'm going to be mixing 6.5 and 7.5 so i'm just going to dab a bit of the foundation and apply it with my fingertip I like to push it in my skin. I know people kind of drag it down your face. Don't drag it like that just because, you know, the product is actually not going on your face. It's just being dragged down and then absorbing into your beauty blender. So you just want to dab gently because I feel like this is the best way to get the product on. I have a few blemishes that I'm trying to cover up. So I'm just going to go back in. Gosh, my skin looks so glowy. I love this foundation. I don't know what it's called, it doesn't have a name on it, but I'll link it down below, but it is in the shade Light. This is a really nice light concealer, so it's not too heavy on the skin. Um, remember, we're kind of keeping this really natural, glowy looking skin look. Don't want anything too full coverage. I'm just going to add a few more strokes. And also my chin. A bit on my forehead. And then, of course, the tip of the nose. I'm going to spray some of the Prep and Prime Fix Plus on my Beauty Blender. Just because I feel like this will give a nice finish to the concealer. And then we're going to blend in that concealer. All about that glowy skin. So I'm just going to set the under eye where I need to and I'm only applying a little bit, not too much. I'm just kind of setting areas where I do get oily. I've kind of left this space here because we're going to do the highlighter. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Beauty Light One, and this is such a gorgeous liquid highlighter um, just because it is seriously like blinding so I'll pop a little on the back of my hand go back in with my beauty blender and dab a little of this highlighter and then I'm going to dab this on my skin all right I'm gonna dab a bit more Whoa. and then just bring it around and in kind of like a C C shape that's what we're going for oh my god I feel like I'm just gonna put this all over my face. I'm just gonna put a bit on my chin because the chin does look a bit shiny. And then I'm just going to dab a bit on the cupid's bow. Of course, the tip of the nose. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to brush off that powder that I put underneath the eyes just really, really lightly. And then I'm just going to grab a little bit more translucent powder just with a fluffy brush. I'm just going to lightly dust this around the areas that need that oil control, which is just a bit on my forehead and just my nose as well. So next I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer. 
and this is honestly so so beautiful it's really really fine i know mine's like broken and just shattered to pieces which is really sad but i really do like this product just because it's not powdery it just literally looks like it's a part of your skin and then i'm just gonna grab my mac 168 angled brush i'm just going to just really work this into my skin I don't want to push too hard on my face because we're not going for that harsh contour. We want it to kind of blend in with my skin. I know she doesn't really have it on her forehead, but I'm going to put a little just to kind of warm up my face a little and also the jaw. So I'm going to use the Hula bronzer to contour my nose. Her blush is exactly the same color as her lips, pretty much. So we're gonna go for like a really nice coral blush. So I have my Tarte Blush Bazaar Amazon Clay Blush Palette with me. And this is honestly like one of my favorite like blush palettes, especially as a makeup artist as well, just because you have so many options. So I'm gonna mix Fortunate and Dainty together. And I'm using the Blush Brush by It Cosmetics in number four, and this is so fluffy, I love it. So this look, the blush is not subtle, like the blush shows up, so you're gonna get that really nice kind of flushed look. So for brows, I'm just gonna lightly kind of fill in my brows. The brow look is really simple, it's not really, um, too defined or anything like that. So I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So next I'm gonna go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. So for eyeshadow, I will be using the Huda Beauty Warm Obsessions Palette. So I'm going to use the Zoeva Luxe Crease 228 brush. It's a really beautiful, fluffy brush. So I'm going to go into shade number 8, which is kind of like a subtle brown shade, which is similar to my skin tone. Um, so I'm pretty much just dusting this all over my lid just to warm up my eyes. And I'm just doing this in windshield wiper motions. And then I'm just going to like add just a little bit more color just to make it kind of stand out a little. I'm going to go into shade number seven, which is this nice coral peachy color. Okay, I'm going to use strip lashes, but she doesn't have a liner or anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tight line my eyes. So I'm using it the... It Cosmetics Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner to tight line. If you're putting like false lashes without a liner, I find sometimes it can look really weird, but if I tight line, it kind of blends in a little bit better. And I'm using the Shoot and Mora Eyelash Curler, and I really like this just because it's really nice and wide, and I find that it fits a lot of eye shapes as well. Her lashes are literally like so simple i'm gonna go with something a little bit more fluffy but still natural i'm gonna go in with the model rock lashes in fluffy number six also if you guys are wondering how to apply lashes i did just recently do a video for beginners on it so if you want to check it out i'll link it down below for you guys Okay guys, so I've just got my lashes on now and I'm gonna go back into the Warm Brown Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty. So I'm just grabbing a pencil brush by Zoeva and I'm just gonna go back into the two colors that we used and I'm just gonna apply this and smoke it out on my under eyes. I'm gonna add a bit of a brown. I feel like she does have just a little bit of smokiness. Really, really lightly going into shade number four and just smoking this out as well. So I'm just grabbing the Gigi Hadid Gel Eyeliner in Nude and I'm applying this in my waterline.
And then I'm just going to pop some mascara on my bottom lashes. So I have really crappy bottom lashes, so I really like to pack this on so my lashes actually show up. So next I'm just grabbing the Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC. I'm just going to pop this on my brow bone. I'm just going to add a little bit more highlighter just on top of what I already have. And I'm going to focus this more like in my cheek area. So for lip liner, I'm grabbing the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner in the shade Smiths. And this is a beautiful kind of neon coral colour. So for lipstick, I'm going into the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Wild Child. And then, of course, we've got to finish it off with some Fix Plus. So before I finish this look, I'm going to put on some contact lens. Okay, guys, I am back and I might have went a bit too crazy on the blush. I added a little bit more just because I wasn't really seeing it on camera. And like her photo, you can definitely see her blush. I've also done a similar hairstyle and got some contacts on. I'm not sure if these are like the same color as her eyes. These are the only ones I have. They're actually like... They're actually meant to be like this really nice light brown, but sometimes they look gray. So thanks guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and also subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.